Michael was surprised to find the house still a mess a week after the fumigation. So you still haven't put this stuff back yet, huh? You've got to be the laziest person in the world. If you weren't all the way on the other side of the room, I'd slap your face. I asked you to clean this up. Yeah, and you also asked me to call the fumigators, and you haven't even thanked me for doing that. Michael had asked her to do this, but that was long before he began hiding his fugitive father in the attic. What? Uh... Oh, God. Holly, cover your mouth. Luckily, Michael was notified in time. Well, we had a deal, you know? I'd pay for everything, and you'd clean the house, and you've only done it once. She hadn't even done it that time, but instead intercepted her mother's housekeeper as she was arriving for work. Take the rest of the way? Mrs. Mrs. Oh, I have to make one quick stop first. Almost done. Yours or Mr's? Mr's. Lupe never accepted a ride from Lindsay again. Well, I'm sorry, Michael, but Tobias moving out hasn't been easy. For any of us. You didn't even notice he'd gone, did you? I did notice we'd stopped TV in the Christopher Lowell show. What happened? I tried to give it one last chance. Like what you see? I've been looking for those. You're going to stretch them out. That's all you can say? Well, excuse me for liking the way they shape my junk. I don't know why, but that's it. You can pack your junk and get out. You're kicking me out? At the beginning of pilot season? You're not going to make it as an actor, and we're not going to make it as a couple. With nowhere to go, Tobias went to the studio where he'd occasionally worked as a security guard and took up residence in the apartment of Detective Frank Wrench on the set of the television show, Wrench. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that. How's Maybe taking it? She's really hard to read. You haven't told her yet. Well, she was so excited the hot water in the shower was lasting longer. How could I have the heart to tell us because her father moved out? Tobias moved out. Did he take the good video camera with him? That's really very touching, Joe. What do you need the camera for? I'm making a magic video. I'm gonna tape myself doing tricks around the office. Calling it tricks. Let me finish. Around the office. I figured out a way to make money while I'm working. But that is what we call working. Something you might want to try next time you're at the office. You've been missing things lately. I'm getting real tired of it. Incidentally, later on today, we're having a big vote on that building renovation. I need you there to help me vote it in. Fine, I'll vote at your stupid meeting as long as you give me the camera. I think we all know that George Michael was using it last. A fact the family had discovered when they'd gathered to watch a home video. Was that a 40th anniversary party, huh? Didn't cost us a thing. Was that Kusei Hussein at the omelet bar? Look at this. These guys move, they don't get paid. It seems that as a 13-year-old, George Michael had been heavily influenced by the Star Wars films and had endeavored to recreate his favorite moments. I spent $2.1 million of good company money and ended up with this. You cut off my hand! Worth every penny. Even you have to admit that that was the lamest thing ever put on tape. Not so. Buster had once videotaped himself recreating moments from his then-favorite film, Chicago. He also liked Star Wars. Oh. 